Hello everyone, GPAs here, and welcome to another video. Today, we're at the beautiful Dragon's Trail International Raceway, going for gold. Can we get it? As a B driver, is it possible to get gold in the time trials? Well, we're going to find out today in the Mercedes-Benz 190E. So here we go, here we go, here we go. We are going for gold. To achieve the gold, we need a 154.078 or better. I would say we need to be a little bit lower than that in the 153 nines, I think is what we really need. So let's give it our best effort. Right now, the best time is 150.756. I doubt we'll get there, uh, but we do want to get a gold medal. I want to load up the best ghost I can so that I have something to follow in the chase. Let's see how many laps it takes for me to go for gold. So, the Mercedes-Benz 190 ooh, is, um, <coughs> we're on the soft hards, or soft hards, am I saying? We are on the sports hard. And that is pretty much the hardest tire with the least grip that you can possibly put on the car. So we're going to be in for a little bit of a slippy ride. There's the ghost. We're going to break around the 150 to start with until we learn this course. Around here in second, into third on the exit. Okay, we got a good exit there. We're right with the ghost. Coming up to a series of turns up here. Lots of trail braking required. A little bit of trail braking through there, down into fourth, a bit more into third. Get on the accelerator if you can. Oh, I had to lift there slightly. I just didn't have the confidence to get through that corner. Now I've got the ghost resetting so that I can see how they get through each section. It'll help me get faster. I'll break at around the 100 marker here. Second to get around the hairpin. Out in second, third. As you can see, the ghost got a much better acceleration out of that corner. And these guys are just amazing. Okay, I'm just keeping it pretty much to the floor all the way through that corner. Now, I think a bit of a lift through here, a bit of a feathering of the throttle until you're confident you're around the corner. And uh, let's see where we're going to be. We need a 153. All right, so we're uh, several seconds from where we need to be. So let's see if we can build on my first lap. Oh my God, snap hook. Oh, and into the wall. All right, well, so I'm gonna need a few seconds uh, to get me into the gold position. Like this car, there's not a lot of heavy braking required. It's really feathering the brake, feathering the accelerator. You know, here it's just a slight, ever so slight lift, well, slight lift. You know, feathering all the way through here to get yourself on that curb. 
Uh, let's see how I am going through here in comparison to the Ghost. It's the start finish line right there. I'm going to break just past the 150 marker. Trail break through here into second, up into third. Oh, my, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Back end. Going for a ride. Getting a little greedy on the accelerator. Really have to feather that accelerator. Okay. This is going to be a little bit uh, tricky. Tricky, tricky, tricky. You know, it takes a few corners to get used to any car. But this car is just going to be sliding all over the place. So I think to get a fast lap, you're just going to have to go with that. You're going to have to find the limit of the slide and just go with it because um, these tires are just not conducive to planting it into the corner. All right, so we're going to break just after the 150 marker this time. I could probably break a little bit later, down into second. Wait for it. Came out in second that time. Wow, does that ever want to go around on you? So easy to snap hook at that corner and find yourself right into the wall. The wall. Oh, see, look at me go, look at me go. Wow. So, mm, sliding all the way through that corner and uh, gotta control the slide. And uh, the, the slide really isn't controlled by the steering wheel. It's controlled by the throttle. Oh, and I've already uh, blown that lap. So, too much input on the steering wheel, um, as well as too much input on the brake or the accelerator. So it's a symphony. Look at that. So you've got to be very careful on that corner. Can't cut it at all. So let's make sure we get our tire inside that white, or inside the curb anyway. I was totally inside the white line. All right, so that's uh, just sliding all the way through. But let's see, I've got a fairly good exit on there. Into fourth. Okay, I've got it planted. Slight lift, and then right back down. So you can really, really get around that corner. It's not too much of a lift. Okay, so we're coming up to the line. Right with the ghost, pretty much. Down into second through here. Feather the brake, feather the accelerator, on the accelerator, into third. Okay, I'm just gonna rev this car right up and see if that's the way to go right now. All right, so series of corners here where trail braking and letting the car slide out, slide out as far as you can, tight as you can on this corner. Finally going down into third. Trying not to scrub too much speed. You can really go wide on that corner to continue with the speed. Another feathering of brake, staying in fourth gear. Hmm. That's probably best because uh, the speed stays high. Now got to be tight through here find yourself into the abutment of the bridge very quickly there. Oh, hold on. Oh, so wide. I wanted to get on the accelerator a little bit earlier there, but um, if I would have, I just would have understeered right off the track and avoided this lap. So 118.9, uh, I don't... Uh, have a comparator yet, if that's good or bad. So really not hard on the brake. Too much anywhere through there. Like a feathering, a dab on those brakes. Okay, let's see what we can do through this corner. Just an ever so slight lift to get the car turned. And then just trust that it's gonna go. Whoa. All right, so here we go. Coming down to the line. 
and we are going to put in oh wow oh boy still got a lot of work to do okay that's um found myself way way out there Okay, so, feathering of the brakes here, stay in fourth as long as you can, third, get yourself around the corner, go as wide as you, well, didn't really have to go that wide there. Oh, wow, I had my foot on the accelerator too long there and the back end just started to go. You want to come off the back side of this apex so my time isn't anywhere near. I have got to gain some skill. Wow. All right, so there are some things that I've got to learn here on what these guys are doing. Because me just driving around the track. I'm gonna go one more lap. I always find before I try to go learn anything, I like to do a couple of laps just to find out, you know, where where things are. Uh, better um, from a perspective of what I'm doing and knowing the track uh, going around it a couple of times I find it's easier to understand what's happening like that is just such a like you just back end is just sliding the whole time you're going around that corner now this corner I think is where you've got to gain some speed Feathering of the brakes. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh man. Totally understeered. Right into the wall. Hoi, oi, oi. 155. All right. So this is, um, could be futile of me going around like this. So I'm going to get out of here and I'm going to go s watch the replay of the ghost. And you got to go all the way back um, to get the replay. Doesn't let you just pull it up. You're pulling the ghost from that menu. All right. So we are going to go in from here. And then we're going to go over to the qualifying time ranking. We are going to go in, and I'm 8,000 with that particular time. So I've got a lot of uh, a lot of time to make up. Uh, so let's pull up uh, hole 01. Okay, hole 01. If that's indeed how you pronounce your name, let's see your replay. Now, what's important uh, is to know what gear and stuff he's in. So, you, for some reason, this doesn't default, and maybe there's a good reason for that, but you have to go in and you have to display all race info so that you really get a sense of what the driver's doing. Then I start the lap over again. And now I can look at him being in third gear. Now, I also like to be on the chase cam. So I can really see what he's doing. All right, so let's start the lap again in the chase cam. So in fourth gear, down to third. He's around this corner in third, which I was going around in second. So I need to be in third gear through there. Now he is revving the car right up before he's changing gears. So he's in fourth here. He takes it very much wide, slides it through, but he's hitting almost the apex of every corner. He does go down into third. He is wide through those two second apexes, but he hits the first apex and the last apex. 
Then he goes through this corner in third. Keeps it in third. Wow, does he ever cut that corner? Stays in third gear. Fourth, finally, as he's coming around that corner. Breaks hard. Down into second for the hairpin. Clips the apex and brings it right out as far as he can along the curb. All right, so now he's on the straight through here. He's trying to make the straight as straight as possible. So as you can see, he just almost picked the line all the way through there, right down to this corner. Stays in fourth, third, straddling each one of these. Stays in third through here, slides out and saved by the curb. Wow, does he ever rev it up in third there? Stays in fourth, but you can see he's lifting and feathering the throttle. And then he's on it through fourth, all the way through. And then to the line in fourth, a 150.9. Okay, so let's watch this again. Fourth gear, braking just before that curb. Down into third only, sliding all the way around. Stays in third on the accelerator. Almost hits this abutment. He's so wide out on that corner. Coming down the straight in fourth. Going to go as wide as he can without going over this white line. Just keeping the white line. Goes a little bit wide of this apex. A little bit wider of this apex to hit this apex. He switches down into third gear, comes out wide, revs third, keeps third all the way through here, does not go into fourth, keeping third, cuts this corner obscenely, an obscene cut of the corner, another slicing of the corner, he's in fourth gear, brakes hard at around the 100, down into second gear, tight on the apex, out wide, onto the curb in second gear, third gear, trying to paint a perfect line down here, keeping the steering wheel on pretty much that dot all the way down, staying in fourth, feathering the brakes, feathering both the brakes and the accelerator, on the accelerator hard on third, no lift at all revving up in third really high again fourth feathering full lift full lift through there and then uh, gets himself pretty much planted to get around the corner and then down in fourth all the way through there all right um yeah so i need uh, go back in dragon's trail i need a 154 flat or a one high 153 to be safe but a 154 flat does it for me and my time presently is 155 7 so i need to get 1.7 seconds off of my time i need the sport hard and uh, the sport hard is the you know if you're in the comforts so the sport hard isn't quite the worst tire there is but it's pretty darn close. Um, okay, so uh, we want to enter from here. All right. So um, I need to get some time. So let's load up the ghost. Haul, haul, little one. And. Uh, that is Australian. Pretty sure that's the Australian flag. And if I'm wrong, I apologize. So, uh, so much for my theory of the Europeans being up at the top. <laughs> uh, but there are a few up there. But there are uh, every continent, every country is represented. But I do find, in general, I do find the Europeans are a little bit uh, faster. The Japanese are very fast as well and this uh, person here who I can't pronounce his name uh, I believe that's the Saudi Arabian flag is always at the top of the list but I notice he never has his uh, video replay available 
So, although he's always at the top, he never shares uh, what he's doing. So, I'm always suspect because he's always so much ahead of everybody. Like, what's his trick? What's his secret? He never gives it away. Where a lot of these other people are always sharing uh, what they're doing. So, I appreciate anybody that does share up at the top. It helps us lowly drivers. Uh, all right, so let's see. Uh, we'll load up his ghost. I've done that already. Did it again. And uh, yeah. So I am just barely in the silver here, um, but I'm I'm safely in the silver, I would say. But let's go for gold. Start. All right, here we go. Here we go. Okay, he was in fourth here, so let's, um, let's staying in third, basically straddling these, brave on the throttle. You know, he revved it up much higher, so I got to admit, it's, it's unnatural, but he lifted quite a bit through there just to get his car on the apex. All right, so here we go, here we go, here we go, let's go. Full of confidence. Gonna wait just before brake very hard. He stayed in third gear. I went down into second. So that uh, lost me a lot of time, as you can see, to the ghost. Gonna rev it out in third. All right, so here again, I pretty much got what you gotta do through here. But um, knowing and doing are two different things. Okay, so I think I gotta get on the brakes a little bit, but if you stay on the brakes, you just your car just slides. So it's a touch of the brake and then a feather. That corner, uh, to me, is one of the key corners because without it, you're not carrying the speed you need to. So, all right, so this sequence of corners feels comfortable enough that I can get out of that corner. Now, the other key I notice on the good drivers is they get their car back to, they get their steering wheel back to center as quickly as possible. And they keep their car steering wheel at center as much as possible. Okay, I'm going to brake a little bit later here. Hard. Stay in third. Off the brake. Nice trail breakthrough here. Accelerate. Oh yeah. That's how it's done. See how it's done? <sighs> Tried to crank the wheel and uh, had the wheel cranked too much while I was accelerating, and that is a recipe for disaster. Who wants disaster? All right. Nice lift, get on the apex and then go. There you go, there you go. Okay, that felt pretty good. Let's see how I am in relation to the ghost. Coming up the start finish line. Okay, so I'm right inside the ghost basically, breaking hard here. Hold it in third, get off the accelerator nicely. So it comes down to when do you release accelerator there? Look at that. Look at him pull away. Felt like I did pretty much everything, but he's obviously on the accelerator earlier than I am because I was right with him. Now I'm not. Okay, let's be a little bit more cautious through here. There we go. All right. On the accelerator in third. He can lick and run out. Use the curb. Oh, wow. Almost lost it. Now, he likes to be in third through here. And he cuts this corner. Revs it out. 
Breaks hard at the 100. He does go down into second here. Accelerates out the second. Oh, whoa. Back end just went around on me. It's, I've lost all momentum, and there goes the ghost. Flying up the road. Now, I am uh, pretty much on the straight line, but you see how much I have to turn there? I obviously missed the line. Now, he uh, stayed in fourth. Down into third here, and then just booting it. But Okay, that curve actually helps keep you straight. And we're lifting here, feathering on the accelerator through this corner. Trust that you're going to make it. All right, so it's another game I like to play. Ooh, look how close I am. 153.4. I'm almost there. I wanted to see how close I needed to be at the, the gold, but wow. So I did much better. Let's go. All right, I'm in the 154s. Getting closer. A little bit of brake input to get you onto this apex and just slammer. Oh, I didn't mean that type of running into the wall. Plah. Plah. <sighs> that was. Uh, my lack of skill. Lack of skill and ambition. <laughs> Those are two deadly combinations. He's got ambition, he just lacks the skill. Third. Alright, so those series of corners. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, I was on a best lap there, I'm pretty sure. Oh, oh, man. But this is it, you know, pushing, pushing. And um, my law of physics, 189. The more you push, the more you crash. I think Professor Fangio said that. Oh, I had to lift there. Shouldn't affect me through this corner. On the excel. Oh, I missed it, I missed it, I missed it again. I gotta break early there. Gotta break earlier. Earlier the better. My best lap right now is a 154.8. I need a 154 flat to get the gold. Gonna stay in fourth through here. On the brake. Little lift. Oh, I totally cut the corner. There we go, up to the line. 154.9. This isn't quite my best time. Got a much better drive out of that corner. Right at the yellow armco, feather on the brakes, come through that corner, down into third, make the next two apexes, and bring the hammer down, car out, stay in third, break just right at the bridge, get the car through this apex settled through the other apex fourth gear hard on it 100 marker catch the back side of the apex in second lost some time on the exit there rev it out to third I lost two tenths. I'm losing two tenths down this straight. 118.2. Certainly not my best time through there. I don't want to go down into third. The car settled through here. Third into here. 
and then basically just on the accelerator and trust that you're going to get through this corner without losing it. Fourth. Slight lift. Get on the apex. Keep the throttle down. Lost some time. No, oh, gained some time. Okay. Is this gold? Very close to gold here, boys and girls. No. All right. I should have a decent time. All right. So we need a good half a second. Without going over the line, you can do it. Oh. I got a better acceleration out of that corner, but kind of missed the apex. out of that corner well enough. Oh, this is going to be close. It's going to be close. Felt like I got better through there. Okay, if I could just execute this corner, I might have it. Nice lift. Get in there. Get in there. Don't go wide. Oh my god, it's gonna be tight. Hold on. Yes! A 130. A 153.9. It's a driving marathon, all right. Took me 100 kilometers pretty much to uh, get that done. 100 kilometers of driving to lay down a 153.987. And that 153.987 is good enough for the gold. 2.92%. 153.987. Yes. 2604 in the world. Excellent for a B driver. Thank you very much for joining me. That's the end of this video. Until next time, GPA's out.